احمد 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 سكاي كام وي ار سكاي كام برودكت از ا سمارت لاين كاميرا درون وي هاف ديفلوبد اور برين ويتش كان بي ادد تو اني درون تو كنترول اتس اكشن ويزوت اني هيومن انترفينشن وول يو هاف تو دو از سيلكت يور تارجت adjust your settings and press start and then enjoy the view from above <laughs> because aerial photography uh, has the largest portion in the drones market so uh, that made us uh, courage to uh, enter the market and also our target is non-professional users so we can just fly without any crash taking spectacular views from uh, we target concerts event organizers uh, filmmakers Um, and all you can do is to fly autonomously without any control, any manual control, and safely because of the collision. Up next, we have Skycam from Alexandria, Egypt. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Ahmed Arab from Egypt, and now let's introduce Skycam. Skycam started as a graduation project from Alexandria University. We aim to make a revolution in aerial photography. So, what are we offering? Our product is a smart flying camera drone that makes aerial photography easy to use and very safe. As our main target are non professional users, so they can easily use the drone. So, let's talk about our market analysis. We started first by uh, interview, interview, interviewing the customers. Uh, first, Tamar Hosni was a very popular singer in Egypt, was awarded the best singer in Africa and Middle East. See that the drone should be very safe as it will be flying above the audience. Mariana Abdel Malik is a short filmmaker. Since that the drone should be should have a replaceable camera, so she, she can use a customizable camera or a specific camera so will the movie quality be, be consistent. Nasim Fakhri is the CEO of a marketing and media company. Would like to have a semi autonomous mode so he can use the drone manually and also at the same time let the drone avoid any crash. That's uh, after processing the customer needs. We see that is a professional use. We have to uh, replace with camera, a smart manual control. With the same team, we have our collision, collision avoiding system, as we implemented our algorithm to take inputs from camera image processing and also sensors like LiDAR and take the right decision. And also for the same field safe mode. So if the drone uh, get out of range or uh, lost the connection, if the battery is low, it can land safe and go to the own position. We are also offering good services after after sales services, drone uh, uh, as a service, and also at a fair price. As you can see, 21 billion dollars is a global market revenue by 2022. is an estimated global revenue market, and uh, that's the gap for the market share. And we are targeting the aerial photography market, which has the largest portion by 74 percent of the market. That's uh, the market. That's the increase in the market from uh, 2014 with a two billion dollars. Four billion dollars in 2017, and it's estimated to be 21 billion dollars by 2022. And all the reports uh, say that this is a very good market to enter at this time. For our competitors, this graph shows the comparison between Spycam and the market leaders. We are the only one who offer a replacement with camera and drone as a service. At the same time, our safety mode, we, are, we pioneered in, in the safety in the collision and avoidance system with our new algorithm. And also, we are the only one who offered all these features with $650 compared to other market teams and offering the same feature. Now, for our, our prototype, that's the prototype that we enriched until today. We, as you can see, this black box is our main brain. This brain can, can integrate in any drone, but what we, are, we are mainly uh, using our own drone, so no problem can happen. Uh, and this brain takes control of the drone autonomously without any human intervention. We are also offering a mobile application. This application is based on an open software community, so we don't waste our time reinventing the wheel. And it's, very, it's free for commercial use. Let's talk about, about the business side in our project. So, who are our customers? Advertising agencies, concert and event organizers, filmmakers. Uh, that's our business model. We, we started first uh, by making uh, the customer interview so we can make the product identification, research, prototyping, and our next step is the software and hardware design and manufacturing. And all these stages go uh, parallel with testing. 
and you ought to take into consideration that we will always update our product through our customer feedback. That's the grand chart. Until today, we finished the product identification, research, prototyping, and nowadays we are working in software, hardware, design, and manufacturing, and we estimate to enter the market and start making sales and making a lot of money in the third quarter of 2018. So how do we capture the market? First, we'll enter the market through our uh, personal connections, and personal contacts, promotion, partnerships, and social media marketing. For our first customer, our main target now is event and concert organizers, especially Tamar Hosni, who I mentioned before, is like Justin Bieber here. He's very popular, so he can enter the market easily. And how will we continue the growth? We, we, we aim to expand in different countries, like uh, United Arab Emirates, especially Dubai, and the US market. And we will always add new features like parachute, as we are marketing for safety. So if any something happens, the parachute can uh, open. And entering the personal drone market and licensing agreement. We have five main market channels, brand connection, social media marketing, promotions, as we are going to offer a free one day a drone as a service for our customers so they can try our product. Mobile ad, and we are also taking into consideration that our website can, can be the first one when someone search for drone. And now let me introduce SkyCamp team. It's me, Ahmed Ayaz, Ahmed Fahmi, Ahmed Noon, Ahmed Yunus, Noor Gali. Yes, we are four Ahmed, but trust me, we have different backgrounds and different experiences in our team. We have the public relations, financialists, project managers, uh, team leader, marketer, and photographer. As we are expanding, we, will, we aim to hire a lot to our team, like software engineers, financial assurance, mechanical engineers, customer service, marketing team, human resources, and a lot of public relations. Let's talk more about money and our financial view, overview. Our operating income will come from two main packages. The first package is selling the drone itself for $650 plus $150 for uh, annual maintenance, which is optional from the next year, so after the first year. And we are also offering drone as a service for $99 per day, includes operation and handling. That's how we calculated our total revenue, spending budget, total cost, and additional eggs. That's a very important slide, so <laughs> welcome with me. Uh, we are targeting 4.5 of the area of the market, plus an, an increase of 50% annually. So we, we, we estimated that we are going to sell 130 units by 2018 from out of 1 uh, million units, which are estimated to be sold in this year. And we will need $99,000 to enter the market. And we expect to reach our big event point plus $5,000 profit in the first six months from the market, as we are starting in the third quarter of 2018. As the market is increasing and our company is expanding, we expect to sell around 2,000 units of 2.6 million units, and we expect to make $1.5 million by 2022. And this taken into consideration that we didn't add to our revenue, the additional income from drone as a service, as we, we can estimate this uh, cost, and also the, the maintenance price after the first year. This graph shows the increase in uh, revenue and gross profit in the next five years. As any company entering the, the market, we have some challenges that we should put into consideration. And as we are going to expand in many, more than one country, Lots of different countries, so we have different regulations, different environmental conditions. And as the, the drone market is increasing and getting larger and larger, a lot of competitors are joining the market. And we are also, as our, our technology is being more complex every year, so we estimate to, to hire a lot of professional engineers to our R&D team. Thanks to our sponsors, especially the, the two governmental sponsors in our country that supported us a lot and trust us a lot. Finally, before I start the video, we'd like to share with you after one full uh, hard year for us in working, we would like to share some moments to our progress. Oh, yeah. 
Outstanding presentation. I have a question for Ahmed. <laughs> so uh, let's talk sales, uh, and I'm going to talk in two ways. Uh, the first is geography. You know, where, where are your sales going to be? Are you going to keep local? And, then, and then if so, where do you work out from there? And the second thing is, I didn't see any salespeople in your hires. I saw when you like all the, the R&D and, and all that. And so kind of talk through that, how you look at making the sales and then scaling from there. Good job. Okay. That's the one. Okay. For us, we will start our sales in our, our home country, Egypt. So as, a, as we have a lot of connections and we have, they have our first customer, that's how we, we go. And then we are going to research the markets in the United States and the United Arab Emirates, especially the way, so we can enter the market easily, but after making a name in our, in our home country. Um, are you not going to be selling to I'm buying this one time, uh, I'm buying the product, and this all the software, and, and the app comes with it free, or is there residual cost to it? Can you repeat your question? Is there recurring cost? Uh, do I just buy the, the drone, the, the product, and that's it, and, and the app's free, or is there any yeah. recurring cost? No app free. This, this actually, actually, I finished the software almost the software design. We have implemented our own brain that can fit in any drone, any quadcopter, and so it can control it autonomously and safely. So I think we will uh, coast in the hardware manufacturing company. So our application uh, will not have an additional cost. It will be free for any, anybody having a drone. So no, we have no additional cost except for the Have you guys heard of a company called Flying Scarecrow? Yeah. <laughs> Our friend. <laughs> they can solve your battery problem. Yeah, yes, uh, I saw in your conversion chart, you, you did have DJI Phantom, but they also have another product, Ma Mavic, Mavic, which is, they have another product, a DJI. Uh, is it No, uh, Mavic. Ma Ma Mavic or Mavic something. Okay. No. Yeah, they, they do it. Pretty similar thing that you have all, all, all of these things that you're saying. So um, I think you, you should look into it. Too. Actually, um, actually we have another thing that uh, it's the replaceable camera. I don't think that any other product offered that. And also we are going to um, publish a paper here for our new algorithm. It's like a computer vision algorithm that combines the, the information from the computer vision and the GPS and take the right decision to be safe and avoid any crashes. And uh, what's the uh, mile range, how far it can go from? Um, uh, for our prototype, it's like 300 meters, yeah, because it's our, but of course for our product it will be uh, improved. So I'm just trying to drill down on what your di the differentiated product here is. So it's, it's really mostly about the light, it's for, the replaceable camera is a really a hardware issue, right? A way for you to plug your camera in to this platform. You own the, the, you're designing the drone platform or are you going to be buying that? Actually, we will do that for the hardware design. As, as any company, we, we can't handle everything in our product. So I think we will go for first in uh, to buy the rights for the hardware design. Apparently, we are in the hardware and software application, software yeah. and hardware uh, research. So we, we may manufacture in China, so we are, we are starting no, in China factory. So, no, so it's a 
it's the differentiated pieces the flight control software. Yeah, is that accurate? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Our mainframe oh, it does advantage both. Okay, so and then it's the way in which you integrate that into the use cases that you got from customer discovery that's going to be the difference what people are going to buy. Yes. Okay. So I would I would think that you are your nine nine dollars a day model that, that that feels more likely to be a good model for you. I, I don't know. I, I just I, I think on almost all the things I've seen today, I would almost encourage you to look at a recurring revenue model Actually, because there's maintenance and all these things that people these people are in the media business, they're not in the drone maintenance business. Actually, um, we estimated this price from our research in Egypt. We it costs a lot for um, to rent a drone at the per professional uh, pilot for it. It costs a lot. Right. It's so, a new technology in Egypt. So yeah. We are the market. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, we will be the first provider for this service. My question was about safety. You, um, are you marketing yourselves as you know safer than you know some of your competitors? Can you explain a little bit more about that? A little more about safety. Uh, we are planning to have some insurance packages for the for our drones. So in case of any failures, we are going to to use the insurance for for that. For, uh, for the drone, uh, it, uh, it is considered in our uh, financial plan to have uh, some uh, an amount of money of, of our profits and revenues for insurance in case of any failures. So uh, we will be sure to uh, to, to return uh, money for future. And also, we can add more features for safety, like fire. If the, the drone uh, dead or something happens. If something happens, we can just land this without any, any harm to the door. I have just two questions. First of all, replace the camera. Tell me a little bit more about that. Why do I need to replace the camera? Did it break? Or do I need to put a different camera on? And what are the weight restrictions? What are the technology restrictions? Can I put a GoPro and take it off and put another camera? What do you mean by replaceable camera? Why am I replacing the camera? We mentioned in our uh, customer interviews, uh, one of the customers mentioned that she has to use her cameras, so the video quality or for, for the movie she's making, she wanted to be consistent. So uh, uh, if we are using one camera and she has some uh, footage from, from, uh, from down on Earth, uh, she might, uh, the quality will not be consistent since she's using more than one camera. So. Uh, this is the main reason for using a replaceable camera. So, you can, I'm, I'm just thinking from a weight restriction, that drone's only going to carry so much weight, so it carries a six pound camera, her camera on the ground is an eight pound camera. What? Actually, what it depends do? on the motor's thrust. Okay. As, um, as high as it is, the, 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 the biggest weight it will uh, carry. So we will take in consideration at this point. Okay, so tell me, it all boils down to you're providing a solution for a problem. What is the number one problem that your product is solving? Safety. Safety. Yes, safety and also make it easier for non-professional to use. You mean the challenges? No, I mean, I'm a client. I'm a customer. I've got a problem. All right, you're saying that your drone is the solution. What's my problem? What's the biggest problem? Safety solving? crashes. Safety. Manual control is is manual control is very hard. Uh, it needs a professional user. Whatever the, the, the tool you are using, it needs a, a specific sensing in controlling the drone. So autonomously, uh, it will be uh, very great, and everything around us is going autonomous. So. So it's the software. Yeah. Okay, a couple online questions. The video had a disclaimer at the end that said video not taken by Skycam. Curious about that. Yeah, actually it's not taken by Skycam, but we would have desired to show uh, you the results of what Skycam will be. Okay, another. Um, as for your competitors, there are existing drone systems out there which are following the owner with a wristband and setting the perfect camera angle. What is your difference? In following, in following me, 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 
Yeah, we have the advantage in, in any, any other feature by autonomous mode of safety. It's like an additional feature for us. We have, uh, we have uh, a combination of computer vision uh, in addition to, to the GPS we are using. So the computer vision can, can adjust the angle for the camera for more professional shots. One other question. Why are you selling the drone at all and not only the control system? Yeah, because the brain needs like a professional engineers to set up and fit it in any drone. So we decided to make our own drone with our own brain. Yeah. In addition, uh, our brain works with specific uh, sensors, not all of them. So uh, we, we can uh, make sure that uh, all people will, will use the same sensors we are targeting. So we have to do it by ourselves. Thank you.